Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I've been promising that I would do this video for quite a while, so I'm finally getting around to doing it. Today I'm going to tell you all about my sew-in extensions, just kind of give you an overview and explain what sew-ins even are, show you what they look like, all that kind of stuff, and tell you what my hair care routine has been now that I have sew-in extensions because uh, you definitely do have to do things a little bit differently if you have them in. So this is going to be for all of you who are just kind of curious about extensions, either are just getting them for the first time or are thinking about getting them for the first time. So hopefully you find this video helpful. So what are sew-in hair extensions? I know that sounds kind of crazy and weird. For those of you who are completely unfamiliar with them, it's like, sew-in? What? Basically what they are is they're a more permanent type of hair extensions. So basically, this is just like a little piece of the hair I have in. This was what was left over. So you just have your piece of hair that looks like this. So it looks like a clip-in extension piece, just minus the clips, obviously. And what they do is they just take a very, very, very small, thin section of your hair and they just basically do like a cornrow braid across your scalp. And then they will take your piece of hair and then with thread, they just sew that hair into the braid. And they do it nice and tight, and so as long as it's done properly, that hair is not going anywhere unless you actually go in and try and remove it. And there are sort of two different ways that you can get sewing extensions done. You can get a full head where they will literally braid your entire head of hair and then just sew in like a whole bunch of fake hair fake hair, you know, extensions, into those braids so then all the hair you're seeing will then essentially be the extensions. Or you can get tracks, which is what I have, and that's sort of like clip-in extensions. You have, this is all my real hair, but then I just have, you know, pieces that go across my head throughout. So I have four tracks in, and let me show you what the tracks look like. So this is a clip here of when I first got them done. This was, I want to say, about a week maybe a week and a half after I first got them done. So you can see the braid is right there on my scalp. And you can't really see it too closely or too intricately, but the hair is then sewn into that braid. Now they look a little bit different, so I'll show you now this is a clip of what they look like today. And now it has been two full months, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, it's been about two full months since I've had them in. So obviously as your hair grows, that braid is no longer going to be right on your scalp. It's going to kind of hang a little bit. So that's sort of what mine looks like right now. It does take a little while to get used to the feeling of having the tracks there. When you touch the back of your head, you definitely can feel them there. Um, you can't see them. As long as you have someone that does them properly and places them correctly. Sometimes when I pull my hair up, you can kind of see, you know, it on the sides but most of the time you can't and honestly I really don't give a shit. So yeah it feels a little bit weird but after a while like now it feels totally normal to me. After the first couple of days it's just gonna feel like your hair. And as far as how long they last, the number one thing I really want to stress to you if you are thinking about getting sewn extensions is get the highest quality hair that you can get. Because trust me, every single time I've gotten my extensions done, I've used different hair companies and some were better quality than others. So if you have hair that is either synthetic hair or even if it's human hair with a synthetic blend, it's going to get matted, it's going to get dried out after a while, it's not going to feel like your real hair and they're not gonna last as long. If you get really high quality hair, which this time I actually got like the best quality you could get, and let me tell you, it has made such a huge difference. Like, oh my god, this is my best experience with sew-ins I've ever had, ever. I don't have to be like super high maintenance at all with them. The type of hair that I recommend getting is 100% human Remy virgin hair. So the hair that I have in right now, I believe is by Natural Beauty Hair Boutique. Um, I will put the information and a link to it down below. Um, I did buy the hair with my own money. It was my first time purchasing from the company and honestly, I'm in love with this freaking hair. So typically they can last, I mean, on me anyway, I'm only speaking from experience. I've had them in, I think the longest I've had them was maybe four months, but it really all depends on um, the quality of the hair that you have sewn in, how you take care of them, and how quickly your hair grows. If your hair grows super fast, 
Um, obviously, you don't want to have the tracks be like all the way down here and all, you know, your hair grows out a whole lot because that's going to be like difficult to maintain. Also, what's starting to happen to me too, which is why I think I might have to take mine out soon, the hair in between where it's growing out of your scalp and then where that track is, you know, like the braid, it can get kind of teased and matted just from, you know, washing and all that kind of stuff. So the more that starts to happen, the sooner you're going to have to take them out too. So they can last you, I would say, anywhere between like a month to four, maybe even five months. <sighs> so that was kind of a lot. I think that's everything as far as you know, what sew-in extensions basically are, what they're all about. So now moving on to how I take care of them and what my hair care routine has been as of lately. So when you have sew-in extensions, the number one thing, really, and my best advice, is to wash them as little as you can. Because the more you wet your hair and you're washing your hair and you're getting soap and products and stuff all in there, you're gonna kind of like mess with that braid a little bit. Also, as I mentioned and showed you, as your hair grows out, the hair in between your scalp and the... Um, track can get kind of matted up and that's mostly gonna happen from washing your hair. So I'll only wash my entire head once every week or week and a half but every two or three days I'll take the top section of my head which is all just my own natural hair and I'll just wash that so that way I'm not messing with like the tracks or the extensions but then my hair still looks and feels clean on top. So you don't have to like go crazy with the dry shampoo. So that's a little tip that you can keep in mind if you're trying to do that. But trust me, you don't want to wash them constantly and go crazy. Because that's definitely going to shorten the lifespan of the extensions and they're not going to last you nearly as long. So when I do wash my entire head of hair, I'll just take big globs of shampoo and I'll kind of do some on the top and work it down to the ends and then on the sides and I just work it down to the ends. And then as I kind of am working it through... Um, I will go in with my fingers, let me try and demonstrate, in between where each track is and I'll just kind of um, lightly massage my fingers through there to try and make sure the areas in between each track is getting washed. Because it can be kind of tricky to make sure you're really getting in there and that it's really getting clean and there's no um, residue of soap or anything like getting stuck in there. And then I'll just rinse it and then I will just apply conditioner from like the mid shaft all the way to the ends. I put a lot of conditioner to really make sure it's like getting moisturized. Then when I get out of the shower, if I am going to be blow drying my hair and doing sort of a smooth um, either straight hairstyle or like my soft waves or whatever, then I will brush out my hair. Obviously when you're brushing your hair, you can't just brush it through like you would normally because you have those braids there and you don't want to start brushing through them because you're going to mess it up and it's going to be a disaster. Um, so what I do is I just kind of brush through, you know, hold my hair. I pretend like I have clip-in extensions in my hair when I'm brushing it. Then what I'll do is I will put my It's a 10. You can use any kind of leave-in conditioner or whatever you want, but I just like to make sure that I put a little something extra just to kind of make sure that the hair has extra moisture. Obviously the hair that's going out of your scalp, you're getting your natural essential oils kind of running through there from your scalp, so that's what's going to keep the hair moisturized but your extensions don't have that because they're not attached to your scalp. So you need to kind of go in and add a little bit extra stuff for it. Um, so this is what I really like to use. I've been using this for months now. Absolutely love it. It is pricey though, so um, you know, you could find a cheaper alternative. And what I love about this too is that it not only is a leave-in conditioner, but it also is a heat protectant. So I'll just spray this all over, brush it through again, and then when I am blow drying my hair, what I will do is I will just do sections and I will just make sure that I do like one track at a time, if that makes sense. So you'll kind of see, I'll go in, I'll take all my hair, clip it up, and I'll just leave one track down. Then I'll go in with my brush and I'll just very gently blow that out. Again, you want to make sure your brush is staying away from that track because you don't want to pull on it. And then the next section, I'll take down another track blow dry that, and so on and so forth. And then after my hair is blow dried, I'll either go back in with a little bit of this It's a 10, or I'll take a little bit of my Moroccan oil, and I'll just kind of rub that through my hands, and then just run that 
through like the ends of my hair again just to add a little bit extra moisture to the extensions I try to minimize how much heat I put on them just because like I said obviously your own hair you know it's gonna grow out you can cut it you have your natural oils running through with hair extensions they don't have that it's kind of like the more damage you do to them the more damage they're gonna get they're not gonna get they're not gonna repair themselves you know what I'm saying if I'm going with my natural hair texture which I know I don't really wear too often in videos I'll insert a few clips here so you can kind of see what it looks like and maybe some Instagram pictures or something like that which by the way follow me Sam underscore ve. and if I'm deciding to just go with my natural texture I will not brush through it because brushing through your curly hair is gonna just make it fall flat and like this <laughs> like kind of just meh. Um, and then I'll spray that spray. And I will take some mousse sometimes. I think the one I've been using is just like the Garnier one. Uh, and I'll just kind of like scrunch up the bottoms a little bit and just let it air dry. And that's how I get like my curly hairstyle. A lot of people saw um, my Lorac foundation review and I keep getting comments like, oh, can you do a hair tutorial on this hair? How'd you get your hair like that? I just air dried it. That's just my natural hair texture. So that's how I do that for those of you who have been wondering. And that's pretty much it for my hair care routine. It's really not anything too crazy. When I am going to sleep or if I'm going to go um, swimming or something like that, sometimes I'll put my hair either in like a really low loose bun or like a loose braid or something like that just to kind of keep the hair all together so that it doesn't get like tangled. I think that's everything. I'm sorry if this video was super long, I just wanted to really make sure that I was like super thorough. So if there's any information that I didn't address that you still have questions about, feel free to leave that in the description. I will definitely get back to you. Don't forget again to check the description for any additional information and links to where you can get good quality hair and all that kind of stuff. So I think that's everything. I hope. I think. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna go now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Um, why am I reading that? It's lube. You know what to do with that.